In Proposition 20, we prove that the sum of any two sides of a triangle are always greater than the remaining side. To begin this proposition, we are given triangle ABC. So first, we extend line BA to an arbitrary point D. With line AC and line AD, we apply Proposition 3, so that line AD is congruent to line AC. Next, we create line CD with postulate 1. Now since triangle ACD has two sides that are congruent, then by proposition 5, angle ADC is congruent to angle ACD. Next, looking at angle BCD, by axiom 5, it is greater than angle ACD. Since we also have that angle ADC is congruent to angle ACD, then angle BCD is also greater than angle ADC. Now since angle BCD and angle ADC are angles in triangle BDC, then by proposition 19, line BD is greater than line BC. So looking at line BD, we can see that it is congruent to the sum of line AB plus line AD. Now since line AD is congruent to line AC, then line BD is congruent to the sum of line AB plus line AC. Since we also have that line BD is greater than line BC, then line AB plus line AC is greater than line BC. Next, we extend line CB to an arbitrary point E. And with line AB and line BE, we apply Proposition 3 so that line BE is congruent to line AB. Next, we create line AE with postulate 1. Now, since triangle ABE has two sides that are congruent, then by Proposition 5, angle BEA is congruent to angle BAE. Next, looking at angle CAE, by axiom 5, it is greater than angle BAE. Now, since we also have that angle BEA is congruent to angle BAE, then angle CAE is also greater than angle BEA. Now, since angle CAE and BEA are angles of triangle ACE, then by Proposition 19, line CE is greater than line AC. So looking at line CE, we can see that it is congruent to the sum of line BC plus line BE. Since line BE is congruent to line AB, then line CE is also congruent to the sum of line BC plus line AB. Now since we also have that line CE is greater than line AC, then line BC plus line AB is greater than line AC. So next, we extend line AC to an arbitrary point F. With line BC and line CF, we apply Proposition 3, so that line CF is congruent to line BC. Next, we create line BF with postulate 1. Now, since triangle BCF has two sides that are congruent, then by Proposition 5, angle CBF is congruent to angle CFB. Next, looking at angle ABF, by axiom 5, it is greater than angle CBF. Since we also have that angle CBF is congruent to angle CFB, then angle ABF is also greater than angle CFB. Now, since angles ABF and CFB are angles of triangle ABF, then by Proposition 19, line AF is greater than line AB. So looking at line AF, we can see that it is congruent to the sum of line AC plus line CF. Since line CF is congruent to line BC, then line AF is congruent to the sum of line AC plus line BC. Since we also have that line AF is greater than line AB, then line AC plus line BC is greater than line AB. And so finally, we have proved that the sum of any two sides of a triangle are always greater than the remaining side.